So today we are going to make this environment under five minutes. Before I start with the video, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Okay, so here I've created a empty level. And uh, before you follow along, make sure that you guys download the free starter project. So the starter project contains all the assets that have been used in this video. So make sure that you download that first and then you can follow along. So after downloading that, you need to create a empty project. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to like set up our lighting. In this video, we're going to use HDRIs. So HDRIs are 360 degree images. And by using HDRIs, you can get photorealistic lighting within minutes. HDRI is a special type of images because uh, they have a very high luminosity range. So here in Unreal Engine, in order to use HDRIs, we have to turn on a plugin because by default, it's not available. So you need to go to plugins and you need to turn on the HDRI backdrop plugin. After you turn on the plugin, you can go in the lighting right here and you can add a HDRI backdrop. So there we go. We have a HDRI backdrop. This looks pretty good. Next, we are going to create our level. So we are going to start by placing some of these assets in the level. Again, all of these assets are included in the starter project. So before following this video, make sure that you download the free starter project. So yeah, I'm going to place this snowy ground asset. So I'm going to place these assets, duplicate them and create sort of a snowy ground. Okay, now we're going to go in the HDRI backdrop and we are going to change some of these HDRI maps. So Unreal Engine 5 comes with some default HDRI maps. So I'm going to switch between all of these options and see which looks good. So the clear sky HDRI looks pretty good. You can also rotate the HDRI on the Z axis to change the rotation and the lighting. After that, we are going to add a post process volume. In the post process volume, we are going to search for infinite extents. So make sure that this is on. This will make sure that the post process volume is applied to the whole level. After that, search for exposure and here I'm going to lock my exposure. So turn on auto exposure and down right here, turn on minimum and maximum brightness and change them to a value of one. That will make sure that our exposure is locked. Once you do that, you'll notice that your scene brightens up. So uh, you need to go back in the HDRI backdrop and reduce the intensity a bit. After that, I'm going to place a third person character. This is just going to be for the scale reference. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now let's add some elements in the background. Again, these assets are included in the startup project. So just drag and drop the mountain assets in the background. Rotate them, scale them and position them however you like. Okay, now I'm going to give my scene some final touches. Uh, so you can go in the post process volume first and I'm going to turn on bloom right here. Change the bloom method to convolution and that is going to give you a realistic look. And finally, let's add some snow particles falling down. Again, this is going to be included in the starter project. So just drag and drop this blueprint in the scene. So the whole point of this video was to get you guys started with Unreal Engine 5. And as you can see, it's really easy to create environments inside Unreal Engine 5. It's not that difficult. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon page. And yeah, that's it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm going to see you in the next video.